So I've always had a passing fancy in Warhammer 40k, but it's always been too ludicrously expensive to get involved with. But a guy just posted this up on Thingiverse earlier today, or oh, earlier, yesterday, whatever. It's a Imperial Guard Lemon Russ tank. Um, he created it all from scratch using a genuine model as a um, model, I guess. Um, it's printed in a couple parts. There's the main body piece and the treads, and there's little heavy bolters that go on the side, and the front and the other side, and there's a big gun on top. Um, it's pretty awesome. It's some pretty good detail in there. It's probably not focusing. I need to get a better camera for a sec. Um, I had to print the main gun a couple of times because when I took it off the bed, it snapped about here. And there's that. When I went to attach this peg at the top here, it snapped clean off. Um, there are things you can do when you um, design the model that can stop that from happening. And I'm going to tell the guy them so he can hopefully integrate them into his design. This is just version 1. Um, and there was some also, also some pretty optimistic overhang. So it was printed sitting on the bed like that, and I attached the, the front main gun later. But when it's printed on the bed like that, it, it lays down the first layer and then immediately has to try and do some overhang out into empty unsupported space. And so the filament tends to sag down. And so the texture quality on the underside of there is pretty shocking. Um, there are a number of ways around that. There's some changes that you can make to the model that wouldn't stop that being an issue. But um, I could probably do that myself if I was persistent. I could just take off. Is this, is it, that's only about a two millimeter lip there, so I could take that lip off so that's flat on the bed instead of being raised up. But yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how all this pans out in terms of copyright and intellectual property and all that, because this is a pretty faithful reproduction of the real thing. And like, if you buy the real thing, it's like 50 or 60 bucks. But this is like a dollar's worth of plastic, if that. It took about two hours to, uh, uh probably about three or four hours to print. Hello, dog. Um, so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. But, yeah, so the guns can move. Yep. Yep.